a very good afternoon myself dr ruchi gupta associate professor it department uh, today we will discuss uh, software testing as i have already done uh, three uh, two phases of sdlc that first one uh, was a software requirement and analysis phase then we have completed next phase of sdlc that is software designing then we have done a coding now we come on the testing phase so our uh, testing software testing it is a process of testing to the software product so once the software is to be implemented so after implementation of the software we have to test our software with the various software testing methods or software testing strategies so the purpose of testing is to verify and finally validate the whole system so after testing after performing the testing we are ready to deliver the software we are ready to deploy the software to the customer so testing strategies they are it provide a framework of a set of activities which are essential for the success of any project and it may include planning designing of test cases how we can execute of the program with some test cases their interpretation of the outcome and finally collection and management of data so we have done uh, uh, planning about the software testing we have to create some software project plans we have to generate software test cases then we have to execute these test cases and finally get some output and then we have to check the output as per the expectation of the customer so the testing is a process of executing the program with ident intent finding of errors so the basic purpose of testing to find out the errors and if the errors has been find out so we can uh, remove these errors and finally we have to ready we have to deploy the software that will be uh, more uh, satisfied user and lower maintenance cost and it will accurate provide a reliable result to the customer so we can say that software testing it is necessary and important activity of the software development process so it is very important activity in the software development now the question is uh, arise that why should we test the software still we have already uh, test the software at the time of implementation with the help of unit testing so why there is a need of testing of whole software is required so testing uh, as we know that testing it itself is an ex expensive activity so yet launching of the software without testing may lead to cost potentially much higher than that tef of testing so specifically systems were human safety is also involved that's why we need a software testing and in the software development life cycle the earlier the errors are discover and remove the lower is the cost of their removal so we if we have to earlier identify the problems in the software and we have to remove it uh, continuously so the cost of whole software development it may reduces who should do testing who uh, will perform the testing of the software so testing it requires the developer to find out the errors from their software and it is very difficult to software developer to point out, point out the errors from own creation so this is big critical issue comes at the time of testing that how the user how the developer can point out the errors errors uh, from its own creation so many organizations have made a distinct a team of development and testing phase so many people is involved in the development and testing so uh, some team of members uh, work as a development team and some team members work as a testing team so they are the team testing team members they are responsible for the uh, testing and each and every team member uh, responsible for each of phases what should we test now the question arises that what we have to test in the software so we should test the program response to every possible input this is one of the major point 
of testing that when we have to start testing then we perform uh, various types of testing strategy to one criteria is that that we have to put some input we have to give some input into the system and after that we have to check the output corresponding to their input so and we have to check the software at each and every possible values possible input values so it can means we should test for all valid and invalid input and we have execute all the possible paths of the program a program path can be traced through the code from the start of the program to the termination of the program and two paths differ if the program execute different statement in each or execute the same statement but at different order so we have uh, test all these things in detail now uh, there are various terms regarding error or uh, fault in the system so uh, sometimes we are confused or we are using uh, the same word for the error mistake or bug so now we have differentiate because there is slight difference between all these terms uh, error bug mistake fault and failure so now we have uh, discussed that what is the difference among them so uh, the pupil make errors uh, that is a good synonym of mistake and this may be a syntax error or misunderstanding of specifications so we can say that uh, error which is done at the time of uh, specification or analysis or that time of error is called mistake or error and when we have to develop the software at the time of programming the error comes in the programs that error is called bug this is called bug so when developer make mistake while coding we call these mistakes bugs now what is fault a fault it is in representation of error that represent is the uh, mode of expressions and uh, for example uh, narrative test data flow diagram the error in the er diagram in the source code etc and it is we can say the defect is a good synonym of for the fault so now uh, when a fault will be executed then failure occurs so failure occurs when fault executed and particular fault may causes different failure and depending on how it can be exercised so these are the various terms related to uh, errors or mistake in the software now what are the test cases as we have discussed that uh, we have done we have to do some project plan uh, testing planning so under this software testing planning we have to generate some test cases and uh, on these test cases we have to perform some testing so what are the test cases so uh, the test case it is basically a triplet that is i s and o i is the input which is given to the system s is a system state and o is the output which we have received from the system and it is expected output of the system which we have received by the system now what are the test suits this is a basically test suits are the collection of the test cases so this is a set of all the test cases which a given software product is to be tested now a test cases a set of these test cases is called test suit hence any combination of test case may generate a test suit means we can say if we have a collection of test cases then we called it test suit so this is a test case template or we can say it is a test case performer so once we have to generate the test cases a test team member will fill out the uh, fill up this uh, performer regarding the test cases so in this performer there are two category uh, section 1 it defines uh, the test cases condition before the execution and this is after execution so we have to uh, define here what is the purpose of testing pre conditions if any in what are the inputs ex expected outcome which we have received from the system post condition and uh, team member name which has to be written this test case and the date of test case generation 
Similarly, when we go on to the second section after execution, then it is show execution history of the program results and if some error occur in this program after testing, then we have to show if any fail, we have to show the possible reasons about the failure. Any other suggestions? Run by and date of execution. Now, what are the test, case, uh, test data and test cases? Test data in, uh, input which have been devised to test the system. So, test data on which we have to perform testing, on that data which we have to perform some testing, this is called test data and test cases input to test into the system and the pre adequates outputs from these input if the system operate according to their specification. Now, what is verification and validation? They are basically there are two terms of uh, uh, test uh, testing or we can say testing is equal to verification plus validation. So, vali verification it is the process of evaluating a system or component to determine whether the products of a given development of a given, uh, given development phase it satisfy the condition imposed at the start of that phases means verification it defines that we have to check or review the software or we have to check or review the project at the very beginning phase and we have to check each and every phase of software development. This is verification and validation has been done at the end of product development. So, validation it finally validate the software which is ready for the deployment. So, validation it is the process of evaluating the system or com component during the ad at the end of the development to determine whether it satisfy the customer requirements or not. So, we can say that testing is equal to verification plus validation. Now, uh, level of testing. Uh, we have used various levels of testing or various testing strategies are available. So, the first one is a unit testing, then uh, integration testing, then system testing and regression testing. So, these are the level of testing. Uh, we have initially we have to start with the unit testing that has been done un under coding. So, once we have to implement the code, we have performed unit testing. So, once all the modules are to be implemented individually or independently and they are tested independently, then we go for integration testing. Basically, unit testing verify the code. It verifies the code and once the code is to be verified, then we have to verify the whole software. So, now we have to perform the integration testing here. So, under integration testing, we have to merge, we have to integrate all the modules, uh, all the modules, interfaces and check the interface among them. So, this is a type, uh, part of integration testing. It may be top down approach or bottom up approach. So, uh, basically integration testing, it verifies the designing of the designing phase of the software development. Now, we come on the third level of testing that is system testing. System testing is basically, uh, it is about the testing of software as well as hardware. So, finally, once we have to complete the unit testing, integration testing, then we have to perform the system testing and system testing validate the requirement of the user and it will finally validate the expectations of the users. So, what the and it is come system under the system testing we have to perform the unit testing. So, sorry acceptance testing. So, acceptance testing it validate what users really need. So, and finally when we have to go on to the maintenance phase then we have to perform the regression testing. So, these are various levels of testing and we have to discuss 
all these uh, levels of testing in detail. Now, the first level of testing is the unit testing. So, uh, there are number of reasons in support of unit testing than testing the entire product. So, uh, in the unit testing, basically we have to uh, test a particular module or we can say that we have to test the so whole software module by module or we can say that we have to test the whole software uh, in the form of modules and each and every module is to be tested independently with the help of unit testing. So, uh, the size of uh, why we have to test the individual module because the size of module is uh, small as compared to the whole software. So, that is why it is easy to uh, test module by module and then we have to integrate the whole modules and perform integration testing. So, uh, the size of a single module, it is small enough that we can locate an error fairly and easily and the module is small enough that we can attempt to test in some demonstratively executable fashions. So, confusing interaction among multiple errors in different part of the softwares are to be eliminated during this unit testing. So, uh, there are number of problems associated with the testing a module in isolation. Uh, we will face a number of errors when we have to perform the unit testing because uh, in we have to test here individual module and uh, we know that that module is to be is to access some information from other modules or uh, that module is to be interact with the, the other modules. So, it is very difficult to uh, test individual module independently. So, we have faced these problems. So, how do we run a module without anything to call it or called by? So, how it is possible to test the software without calling or without called by because each and every module is dependent on another module. So, or possibly to output intermediate values obtained during exe uh, execution. So, our approach is to uh, construct an appropriate driver routine to call. So, in our uh, unit testing approach, we have to apply some driver or stub approach uh, for calling in or for called by a strategy and we have to test our software uh, module independently. So, stub, what, are, what is stub and what is driver? So, stub sub, serve to replace the module that are subordinate to called by the module to be tested. So, stubs are the basically we have to replace the uh, module uh, with the stub modules that is subordinate of that module, tested module. And uh, stub, it is basically a dummy sub program that uses subordinate module interface. Means we have to just code uh, only that code that is uh, that is feasible for the interaction of that tested module or minimal data manipulation verification entry. And what is driver module? It contains the non-local data structure. It behave like a main module because our tested module is also uh, related with main module and it uh, access some data or parameters from the main module because we have already defined the parameters uh, look globally in the main module. So, we have just create a driver module uh, that contain the non-local data structure and access by the module under test and it would also have to co code and to call the different functions of the module with appropriate parameter values. So, uh, there is a, a problem with this uh, unit testing, there is an overhead code. So, means we have to generate some extra code for testing an individual module and it is called stack folding effort that import into the testing but does not appear in the delivered product. So, this is the process of uh, unit testing. This is our driver, it is just behave like a, a main module. This is our tested modules and these are some subordinate modules of this tested modules. They are behave like a, they are just like a dummy modules and they are called stub modules. And there are some marks, sec folding is there because we have do some extra 
coding for test this uh, single module. So, uh, the parameter is to be out from driver to the tested module and it back go to the driver module. Similarly, a test module pass some data items to the stub modules. This is interaction between the user input and output. So, this is sec folding uh, required testing a program unit module. This is our driver module. This is our module under test and this is our stub module. So, uh, here we have uh, declared some global data items and it is to be passed to the module which is under test. So, we need some um, extra coding. Some extra coding is required for the testing of this individual module because uh, this module is only execute when it relate to its sub module or driver module. But both the ex in uh, actually both the modules are not prepared now. So, we have to just create some extra coding we have which is required for the execution of this module. So, that uh, coding that extra coding is called sec folding of the yeah, which is done in the unit testing. So, uh, we, uh, once we have to individually code or test each and every module independently, then we have to perform the integration testing. So, with the help of these uh, drivers and stub module, we have to perform the uh, unit testing and this testing has been done on the in the coding phase. So, the developer which is responsible for the implementation of that code is only responsible for the testing of each and individual module and once all the modules are to be tested independently, then we have to go in actual testing phase. Means we can say that unit testing is a part of coding as we have uh, seen here. Unit testing verify the coding because uh, unit testing has done in the coding phase and once we have to complete the whole unit testing, once we have to test the whole modules individually, then we will go further. Then we will go on to the integration testing part and in the integration testing, we will not uh, uh, test the module functionality. We have just checked the modules interfaces. We have just checked the interface among the various modules and once we have to combine all the modules, then we have to uh, uh, perform uh, integration testing with the help, it will be done with the help of two approach, top down approach and bottom up approach. One more approach is used for integration testing that is called hybrid testing or sandwich testing. And once integration testing has been completed, then we will start system testing. So, this is about the unit testing and the level of testing. Thank you very much.